the perfect hangover food for me. Oh, that's a lie. Oh, okay, the perfect hangover food for you is fried rice. And it's not one of those fried rices where you get egg fried rice, peas and carrots into it. And uh, this nasi goreng, my heritage, my culture, my country from Indonesia, the nasi goreng. And remember that sambal we made earlier? This is gonna be the perfect little foundation of flavors and a bomb in your mouth when you add it into your fried rice and make this epic nasi goreng. This is not like the regular fried rice like Uncle Roger, Jamie Oliver, Gordon Ramsay, all those guys. This is something that is more street food style. Uh, fried rice is street food style. But honestly, like this is next level. This, trust me, it's next level. It's perfect on a budget, easy to make, and you only need very, very few ingredients. One, two, three, four, five, six, what? Wait. You only need such little ingredients for this. Rice is essential, making sure that it's at least a day old. Make sure that it's a little bit dried, and that's gonna make the perfect fried rice. So I've got here's chicken thigh filled that I've chopped up. I've got eggs, I've got my sambal, my bawang goreng, which is the fried shallots. Salt for seasoning, optional. You don't really need it because we've got the seasoning right here. Rice and some oil. And there's one other key ingredient that you need. Okay. All right, I'm not outside. I'm inside my parents' home and I don't have a wok here or a wok burner. So I've got my induction and my induction wok. I know I'm gonna get shat on by you guys or by Uncle Roger there. Oh yeah, it's not good enough. Don't get the wok here. This will be good enough, all right? So, on with the heat. Bit of oil, peanut oil, grapeseed oil, as long as it's not olive oil. Get that in. Usually with fried rice, you can have the eggs chucked in first and scrambled in, or you can have it last on top of your fried rice, sunny side up. But I'm gonna do it both ways at the same time because I at least need two eggs in me. Chicken in. You want that heat to be hot. Once the chicken is partially cooked, chuck in your sambal. Ooh. I feel like Indonesian fried rice is the best fried rice. Do you think so? It is the absolute best. It's more flavorsome, it's got that punch into it. Gonna add in my egg. I'm gonna scramble the egg into my chicken and sambal. Now once my egg is in and cooked, next thing I'm gonna do is add in my rice. The Asian way, use your hands. My feel, my, my recipe, oh well. Once you get a day old rice in, give that a toss. And you want to try and break up the rice as much as you can. Now there's one more key ingredient, the most important one as well, is ketchup minus, which is sweet soy sauce. And that's gonna give that sweetness into this dish. You don't need too much seasoning because you've already got that MSG and that seasoning in the sambal. You can add some more sambal just for extra flavor. I'm gonna turn my heat off, have a little taste. Woo! I've got that wok, hey baby. Let's go, it's nice and charred, slightly smoky. That's good. Then add some salt for seasoning. <coughs> when I was on MasterChef and I made egg fried rice, the Chinese style, I got shot on by the judges saying it's too oily, but the flavors are there. And they say it's too much lop chong. Too much lop chong. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, so good. So good, I want to punch you in the face. So good. Love it. All right, next up, I'm gonna start plating this. I'm not done yet, boys. 
We ain't done yet. So while our rice is still pillowy and hot, I'm gonna quickly clean this wok. I'm gonna fry an egg. A little bit of oil, it's just a smidge. And we're gonna add in our egg. Isn't she lovely? Usually the fried egg is optional if you want to flip it, but make sure you don't pop the yolk. But I want to keep mine sunny side up and keep this semi-cooked and that yolk bright. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, our fried egg. Little seasoning of bawang goreng, the fried shallots. All right, we're, we're just almost there, almost, almost there, I promise you. So this is the fried rice, right? This is how you know you're in an Indonesian home. One, your friend's Indonesian, or you are Indonesian. But all Indonesian homes have to have a prawn cracker, a bunch of sambal, bawang goreng as well, ketchup minus. So let's find that prawn cracker. That's what we usually have with fried rice and everything else. Oh, there it is. No, no, it's actually here. Oh. and fried prawn crackers. Right, you just buy these at the store. This is the perfect hangover food. Smoky, steamy, hot and spicy, and full of flavor. There you have it, my beautiful gangsters. This is the ultimate fried rice. Try this at home. Let me know what you think, because I think it's pretty freaking awesome. Let's get the egg popped right in. Egg porn. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's have a little, little taster. Oh man. That is killer. That is spot on. That's my fantastic fried rice. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.